This video explains concept of path grouping and how it is implemented in Genus. By default, Genus attempts to optimize the timing path with the worst negative slack, that is WNS. If Genus is able to optimize the WNS path so that it meets timing, then Genus optimizes the path with the next WNS. And this continues until all paths meet the timing goals. However, if in this process, Genus is unable to optimize a path so that it meets timing, then it will not move to the next worst path and Genus will halt the optimization process. To work around this default behavior, group timing path into different cost groups. When multiple cost groups exist, Genus will optimize the WNS path in each cost group. If it cannot meet the timing goal for the WNS path in a specific cost group, then Genus will continue to try and optimize the WNS path in each of the other cost groups. So basically cost group is a set of the critical paths to which you can apply weights or priorities that the optimizer will recognize. Paths which are assigned to the cost group are called path groups. So path group is a group of the related paths either grouped by define clock command or by using the command path underscore group. And hence Using an appropriate cost group strategy is an important step to achieve the best timing results in the design. While running, Mapper calculates the target slack for each of the cost group and it works on the all cost group. Typically, the path groups which are created includes input to output paths I2O, input to register path I2C, register to register path C2C, register to output path C2O. We are showing here a typical example where we are defining the cost group and path group accordingly. We are naming the cost group and the same group is associated with the path group when you define that. And when the timing results are displayed, you can also see to which path group the path belong to in the report. You can also define path grouping in SDC using group underscore path command. As well as you can specify the weight of the cost group which is taken into account during the incremental optimization. So while defining the cost group, you can specify the name of the cost group, specify the weight for the particular design. So this slide shows the example for the path grouping. We are defining the cost group, we are specifying the name and the design. And then while defining the path group, we specify from which clock, we associate with the specific cost group and then we specify the name of the path group. So in the report, we can see the details regarding the group, the start point, clock and point and the clock.